Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where today we are carrying on with a very interesting new type of experiment here in the lab. You see my friends, we are going to be following a wolf pack's legacy. So in most of our experiments, we usually just have one generation of amazing offspring. But uh, per some of the suggestions that you guys have given me, we're actually going to be trying something very new this time. We are going Going to be following up on generation two of the wolf pack that our boy noodle from our red lantern series and his lovely wolf mate veil actually ended up having i'm very excited about this because having a generational experiment is quite delightful and actually fun fact friends when i was in university one of my minors that i was going after was a minor in family sociology and some of the stuff you research in family sociology are the long-term studies that scientists will do for decades that will follow people from birth until like the end of their life, scientists passing on the flame to the next generation of scientists to carry on the study. And I always thought those studies were so interesting, where you follow a population from generation to generation across their whole lives, trying to understand what changes in the environment, what changes in their genes may have affected how their descendants will become. Very common if you're looking into like genetics or if you're really trying to study something that breeds very fast, like say guppies, the little fish guppies. And now my friends, we're going to be bringing that same generational study to all our wolf pack and I'm really excited about that so last time you guys actually saw noodle and veil go ahead and have an adorable little litter of puppies in the caves behind our cabin from our red lantern series gotta love all those crossovers that we do and uh, this time we're gonna be following one of their children as she begins to start the wolf packs real legacy but a huge disclaimer here, friends. I wanted to reassure you, this is not the end. Because it hit me, why not both? Why don't we go ahead and follow both the wolf pack that we have over here and also see what happens with the sled dog family if we follow our sled dogs for multiple generations. So we're gonna be following not just one offspring of Noodle and Vale here, but we're actually gonna be following two. This time around, we're going to be following the side that's going to become the wolf pack, but next time you guys are going to see who we picked to become a sled dog who is going to breed with random dogs that come and visit our cabin. And so we're going to have side-by-side -side legacies, one focusing on sled dogs and breeding with just dogs, one focusing on wolves and breeding with just the animals that you would expect to find in the Alaskan wilderness, and then as the generations go by, we'll be able to compare the cousins and we'll be able to see how different they ended up from their parents. So I'm really excited about that. Complete hats off and many, many claps to all of you who gave me ideas that suggested that we try following more than one line. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing, like, how about we set a goal of reaching 10 generations? I'm really excited to see what happens when we get to generation 10 of Noodle and Wolf's descendants and one line only bred with dogs and the other line, like our lovely Angela here, breeds with wild animals from Alaska like a bunny, a snow hare. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. I'm really, really excited about that. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to Noodle and Vale. They're actually going to be going back over to the cabin. They have raised their litter. They are very proud. They play and have a great time together. Noodle runs all those races. And Vale occasionally provides us with a caribou to have extra food while we're out and about in the forest. And they leave their legacy to their children. And this time it's going to be to Angela. She is the beautiful white wolf that so many of you guys totally fell for. I kind of saw that coming and that was very exciting. And she's actually going to take over managing her own small pack, supplementing her food now and then with snacks from the cabin, of course, and having uh, her own little litter of puppies. And perhaps it's just the magic of being so close to the cabin, the red lantern, the dreams, Maybe it's a very odd aurora borealis that ripples over the Alaskan sky, but when Angela finally, 
finally becomes old enough and strong enough that she wants to go ahead and have some puppies of her own, this husky wolf mix sets off into the forest. And rather than finding herself in front of another wolf, rather than finding herself in front of a grizzly bear or a polar bear, she actually ends up finding a mate in Cohen! So Cohen here is actually a rabbit. He is a snow hare. There we go. He is a snow hare. And for one reason or another, as they meet on the snowy fields, I'm thinking there's a beautiful Aurora Borealis the night before. So they both kind of were exposed to maybe some very interesting radiation or magic, however you want to explain how a wolf husky and a rabbit are about to have babies. <laughs> And I, I really think that they just kind of look at each other and with both of them having very white fur and I think Cohen's a little bit more He's a little bit more confident like he has a lot of deep wisdom for a snow hare Not the kind that you would usually expect to see and he's also a lot bigger than your average snow hare There's just something about whatever happened to both of them the night before under that Aurora Borealis That means that when they come together, they just know they are meant to be and so as spring rolls around, we are going to welcome in the next generation. I guess this would be generation three, actually, from Noodle, because we had generation one with Noodle, generation two with Angela, and now we're going to be welcoming generation three in with our lovely Angela and Cohen's children. And I'm really excited about this because breeding with the wild animals means we have really, really big traits like the ears, speaking of really, really big things, and the haunches. We also have a chance of inheriting the tail and this body size and now we're gonna go ahead and see what their children look like I think it's gonna be really weird if they have kids who have like color because I think something about them is both very silent very stoic they don't speak a lot even to each other but they pass through the forest kind of like the silence of snow I think passing through the forest. There's a lot of deep wisdom in how they're able to find their food and survive, but it's very rare for them to ever really talk or communicate with one another, at least until their den is going to be filled with very noisy puppy bunny hybrids. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and get some of you guys in here. As always, oh, look at that cute puppy. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun to see what Angela's sibling ends up having for our dog line of the Husky Mixes. Uh, but let's go ahead and get some of you guys in here as usual with the random comments generator plucking up your comments from the previous videos If you want to end up becoming a one of these little crossbreeds All you need to do is leave a comment with your name suggestions or just a comment and I'll just use your name And then you could find yourself as part of these amazing and very unexpected stories All right, let's go ahead and pull up a fresh comment and we're going to go ahead and have Angela and Cohen have their first baby. <gasps> Yay! It's a little husky! Oh, you take after your, your grandfather! Oh, we have somebody who looks like Noodle. And this is actually going to be Swan. Swan, here you are. And then Angela was one of your favorites from the last mix, Swan. So how exciting that you actually get to go ahead and be added on in. And Swan, you are actually going to be stubborn, a sleuth, and a glutton. And here's something that a lot of you guys have been suggesting. I think the red eyes that we have are actually glitched. So some of you guys suggested if we roll the demon eyes and it's like not actually like a demon creature, we should go ahead and re-roll. So I'm going to see what that looks like if we re-roll. I just rolled the dice of destiny five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that would change the eyes actually. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out a way. That would actually change the shape of the eyes. So we're going to have to figure out a way. Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, that, I think we'll have to just leave the demon eyes unless you guys think we really should go ahead and randomize again because unfortunately it doesn't look like I can get rid of the red eyes, but we'll have to look into it. I've been thinking lately maybe I might pull out my custom content that does this so that we could just focus on normal colored eyes. Um, so what do you, what do you guys think if we match the eyes? Okay, I think we probably should do something about demon eyes because that's really adorable. All right, if it's not a demon, I will randomize the eyes somehow. If not to change the eye shape, then at least the color. I think that's fair. But right, Swan, you are a stubborn sleuth who is a glutton, which is freaking adorable. And you are so freaking cute. I will try to be more 
discerning with the eye colors we pick in the future. And then let's go ahead and get the next baby. Alright. Demonizing it! See, this is why we should definitely go ahead and randomize the eye color again. And then this is going to actually be June! June, welcome! Oh, what a lovely name! And you actually take after your grandfather with the husky coloring too. Alright, June, I'm going to change your eyes really quickly. Alright, we'll randomize. Okay, actually, June, you are blind. That's how we'll do it. We'll randomize to get the eye color. Yes! And then I'll just go back and manually change the eye color. We've got this, friends. We've totally got this. All right. And then, June, you are a couch potato who is aggressive and a hunter. Oh, that is an interesting mix. All right. So, I mean, being a hunter who is all like an aggressive hunter who is also blind, I think that all of your other senses are really working. All right, we need to get these puppies born really quickly. I love the idea of changing the red eyes, though. I'm, I think we're going to go ahead and get behind that. Oh, look at that little polar bear. All right, let me go ahead and get the next name. And this is going to be... This is going to be Rain. Rain, welcome. I'm really interested to see. I think you have your dad's ears. I think we're going to get some big ears on this one, friends. Rain, you can't give milk, but I appreciate the effort. You can, however, be hairy, jumpy, and a couch potato. Oh, I can't wait to see if she ends up being jumpy like boing boing like her dad, or if she's just kind of like jumpy in personality. All right, let me go ahead and pull up the next name. Oh, we got to randomize the eyes again, but welcome to Lapis. Oh, wow, we're getting some fun names this time, too. Lapis, you are also stubborn and hairy and a hunter so this this group is really turning into i think how many hunters do we have we have a lot of stubborn ones and then we have a few hunters so i actually think this group is turning out really great when it comes to being able to be a good wolf pack all right i rolled the dice of destiny so we're going to go ahead and randomize the eyes four times one two three four. Oh, that's so pretty and we're gonna get one gold eye and one blue eye all right there we go so then we've got gold eye, I'm pretty sure, yeah, gold eye, and then the other one is a blue eye. There we go. I think that was right. It's close enough. <laughs> Lapis, look at you. Oh, I love this. You guys, you're right. We definitely should randomize from demon eye. I think it's just glitched, so it shows up too much. So we'll fix it. All right, next up we have an all little white pup. All right, let me find out what your name is. <laughs> okay, this one... This one is going to be, um, hmm, dumb. And that's because dumb human. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We'll name him Dum. Dum. Just, just to try to take off a little bit of that sting. But there you go, dumb human. And I agree. It's really fun if we could have more randomization. So I think we will definitely randomize the eyes from now on. Like now on. And then, Dumb, you are going to be independent, a troublemaker, and a glutton. So just all around, you're going to live life the way that you want, and everybody else can get out of the way, it sounds like. All right, let's add in the last puppy, because we still have to do the randomization on if they're going to have the rabbit features or not. And this is going to be Sammy! Oh, Sammy, look at you! I think, let me double check. Yeah, I think that's one of the glitched patterns, so I'm going to randomize again. There we go, and this is what Sammy's gonna look like. Cause that was one of the glitch patterns that just showed up as the color. Oh, we've got a lot of husky mixes this time, friends. And Sammy, you are the smart troublemaker who is independent in this little pack. And I think you're gonna have your dad's ears. Something, something is giving that away. I don't know what it is, but something about you, Sammy, is giving away that you might grow really big ears. But all right, guys. As the silent and yet real Angela and Cohen, Conan look over their children, we're going to go ahead and let these little ones grow up into somewhat of a serious pack. They're a little aggressive, they're very stubborn, a little bit jumpy, but one of them out of all of these ones that have just been born will inherit the wolf pack and carry on their legacy. So I need you guys to help me figure out who that's going to be once we go ahead and roll the dice of destiny and see if any of the puppies end up being small, then there's a chance they inherit their dad's ears, haunches, and tail. But let's see what happens. Swan, you're up first. <gasps> Swan! Look at you! You're a big girl! Look at her! She's got her dad's ears! 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. And her dad's tail. Okay, that's adorable. Swan, you are precious. So my friends, keep Swan in mind as you try to decide who you think should be the heir to this wolf pack. She is a glutton who is a sleuth and stubborn with very big ears, and she has her grandfather's coat coloring. So what do you guys think about Swan for potentially being the next pack leader? And then we've got little June. June, are you gonna stay little or are you gonna get big? Big! June, look at you! Okay, June has the ears. June has, I think, the wolf muzzle. So she really has carried in some of that wolf muzzle. She's also got blind eyes. And no dragon tail, June. I know you really want to, but no dragon tail. A long tail with some husky patterning. She's also a aggressive hunter, so she probably can hunt just fine even with her eyes, who is lazy. So what do you guys think? Should June be the one to inherit the pack? We want to think about what traits we want to pass on and who might be a strong leader. Rain, you're up next. <gasps> You're not up next, Rain! You're so small! Oh my gosh, what is up with your tail? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so Rain, you actually are going to inherit your father's ears. And you're going to in inherit his haunches. So let me get those all lined up for you. Oh, I think she has smaller ears than normal because... um because she's taken after her mom on that side. But Rain is actually going to be basically a bunny. Let me see if we inherit the tail or not. We do inherit the normal bunny tail. That's a bit of a pity. I kind of wanted to inherit like that really funky looking tail, but that's, that's, that's really cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is Rain. She is a couch potato who is jumpy and hairy, really takes more after her dad, but she has a chance to lead the pack if you guys think it is meant for her to be. Lapis, with your two colored eyes, you are up next, my dear. A stubborn hunter who is hairy. And also very big. You have your father's muzzle and you've got your father's ears. And no dragon tail. I know that everybody wants to have the dragon tail, but that's just not the way things are going to be. And I like her. I like her two colored e eyes, too. I don't know if a muzzle like that, which probably is a muzzle that's going to be eating a lot of grass, is what we want for our pack. But it might be a really fun twist on the, the wolf pack's genes. So what do you guys think about Lapis? All right. Dumb, you're up next. <gasps> you're not up next. You're so teensy. Look at your eyes. Oh, my gosh. And, um, you have not inherited your father's ears, so say the dice of destiny I just rolled. Instead, you are going to inherit his haunches. And are you gonna... Well, you've already got the tail, so I don't need to worry. And you've already inherited the tail, so you turned out to be a really tiny, very interesting rabbit. I actually think that if this little rabbit wolf ended up going somewhere, he'd be the perfect size to be able to break into any of the food that people would have behind their houses or any of the food the mushers would have and be able just to fill himself on whatever he finds. Like, look at him. Look at him. He looks like he could totally get into trouble. He'd raise that. He'd totally raid a cabin like a raccoon. Just look at that face. I can see. I can see the trouble that this guy has to offer. So Dumb is actually on the list as a potential contender to inherit the pack. What do you guys think? Should we go for a completely different direction? And then Sammy, you are last up and... Oh, oh. <gasps> Sammy, look at those ears! Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, Sammy, this is amazing. Sammy, meanwhile, is the only smart one of the pack who is independent and also a troublemaker. But look at those ears! And Sammy clearly has a lot of the husky traits in them. Wow. <laughs> Except they've got rabbit ears <laughs> and a rabbit tail. <laughs> All right, guys. Now that we have mixed them together, should it be Swan who carries some of her grandfather's jeans? And just a few, like a little pointy ear. Her ears are not nearly as pointy as Sammy's. Should it be June, who happens to inherit a lot of the wolf aggression, just with much bigger ears and blind eyes? Should we go in a totally different direction with Rain or Dumb, being the small little ones that they are? Or should we go with uh, the grass-eating wolf Lapis or Sammy of the huge ears? 
I really want to hear what you guys think we should do with these ones. And next time we are going to randomize once again one of the 25 different types of animals I wrote down, including wolves again, that the wild pack might run into. And we'll also have to go ahead and see what Angela's sibling does with the sled dog line of this little legacy that we're going to be leading. I'm really excited. This is so much fun and I can't wait to see how we run these parallel experiments. And we're going to be comparing all of the offspring that we choose as the heirs across the generations to one another so that we can see how they change over time too. So all right guys, if you guys could do please leave a like for the very silent and yet very serious and very thoughtful little snowy Conan and Angela and all of the amazingly interesting children that they have had. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.